Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. Sorry, it's been a minute since I've uh, put you guys' video together, but I have been super slammed and it's hard to get things together. I'm up here in North Florida. I'm at my good friends um, at Seas, Seaside Engineering. I'm out in front of their office. They were gracious enough to let me use their property to do this video for you guys. Um, had a customer call me up. He's having uh, issues. He's wanting to log static data with a receiver that does not have a base option. So normally we'd go in, start base, we would put our point number in, we would tell it to like, you know, RTK and infill or RTK and logging or something like that. We'd log static data and life would be good. Well, can't do that with a, with a receiver that is a rover only. You can only do that with a receiver that is a base, has a base mode in it. So this R8S is rover only and an R2 would be something that would be rover only. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do static um, to record a static session using a rover only okay so you're going to use fast static and um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that but first things first Okay, so I do want to mention that uh, I've heard a couple of comments. Some of you out there think that I'm getting sponsored by Trimble. Not happening. Um, even if they wanted to sponsor me, I probably wouldn't let them because I can't be um, open and honest with you about the Trimble equipment if uh, somebody's paying me and telling me what to say, right? So that's not happening. So, uh, but I will tell you that Seco was nice enough to, I'm almost gonna say sponsor me. They're sending me some equipment so that I can do some videos. So uh, I want to point out right now that I'm using this really cool uh, snap lock rubber pole with a uh, Seco bipod. So this uh, pole and bipod is my favorite. Uh, I like the snap lock because the pole comes up to the center. When you adjust them, that center point and that point down there um, line up really well. Uh, they're very well constructed. Um, I like the bipods, the Seco bipods. Um, may show you guys how to adjust these things one of these days because I've run into that with a few people. Might show you how to adjust a pole on the back of a truck, on a back of a pickup truck. Who knows? So, anyways, let's get back to the video. So, if you see any pictures or anything on Instagram, Seco, be sure to give it a like and uh, tell them Robert sent you. Okay, score me some brownie points, would you? So, anyways, let's uh, let's go in here and create a survey style. So. As I have sweat rolling down my eyes, let's see if we can get through this thing. Survey styles. I'm going to say new. I'm going to say um, R8. Wrong button. R8S. I'm going to call it static. Okay. So we're going to do an R8S static. Enter. Accept. The only thing you need to worry about is the rover options. So we're going to edit that. We're gonna change this down to fast stat. You know, there wasn't any traffic out here a while ago. Now it's just, man, this is like interstate out here. A little two lane road coming through Baker, Florida. Okay, so I gotta change the receiver type to R8S internal. Bottom antenna mount's good. Antenna height, I will put in two meters because I've got it on a two meter pole. We want to log in the receiver, not in the controller. You'll notice if you log in the controller, you only have a couple options on satellites. But if I log in the receiver, I've got all kinds of options. So let's turn everything on. Always, always, always turn everything on. The receiver will let you know you can't use it. Okay? So uh, logging interval says 15 seconds. So um, if I was doing like a drone flight or something like that, I might do it longer. I may do uh, one longer, shorter. Why do one second intervals rather than 15? That's where you would change it at right here. So uh, we're sending it off to Opus, so 15 seconds is fine, okay? So we get all that set, we hit accept. We're gonna hit store. I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna say measure, and I'm gonna say R8S static. Now I'm gonna say measure points. Do not hit start survey or start base survey. Okay, I'm gonna call this point number 100 or one, yeah, 100. CP, fast static, 6.52, bottom of antenna mount, going to options. You'll notice up here at the top, it says auto store point. 
don't auto store point. If you auto store point, then whatever the settings you've got in here, it's gonna to get to that point and it's gonna store it. If you're flying a drone, you don't want it to store in eight minutes and store your static file and be done with it. You want it to do there in the whole flight. So do not hit auto store. This thing will only do up to an hour as far as logging time. So if I try to do two hours, if I do 120 minutes and I hit enter, you're gonna, you're gonna see it says it's out of range, okay? So um, I can do 60 minutes and it will change that to one hour and life is good. So don't hit the auto store, except now what I'll do is I'm just gonna go, whoops, sorry, I'm gonna go back to measure and it should be measured point. So now then, when the receiver is turned on, this power light is solid, okay? When uh, it's recording static data, you'll see it blink. See it blink every once in a while, kind of like a heartbeat, okay? That blink means it's recording static data. If that power light, the light on the right-hand side, is not flashing like a heartbeat, then uh, you're not recording static data. The light on the left is our satellites. It's telling us it's picking up satellites, right? And the one in the middle means radio. That, and we're not getting any radio because we're just doing a static session, okay? So you have the power, you have the radio, and you have the GPS. Make sure that power light is flashing like a heartbeat. That way you know you log in static data. On an R10 or R12, it's got the arrow down. I believe the arrow down just lights up and stays solid. That means you're logging static data on that, right? Okay, so we're logging static data. So let me show you how to end this thing. Oh my God, I got sweat all in my eyes. Okay, so let's say I wanna end this thing. There's a couple ways I can do it. I can go in and say measure and end survey, can get to it from there. I'm gonna show you a shortcut, okay? Up here at the top of the screen, you're gonna see a little man holding a rubber pole, okay? We're gonna hit that button and you're gonna see where it says end survey. So it's gonna end the survey. It's gonna ask us to power down. We're gonna say no, okay? So now I wanna import the files. So it's asking me what files I want to import. Looks like the one down at the bottom is the one I should choose. So I'm going to say that one. I'm going to say import. Okay. So it's imported the file. Now then, where'd the file go? So if we go to job data, go to file explorer, and I put on the old man glasses so I can see through the sweat. It should have created us a file in here called... Whew, I need to delete some of this stuff. Okay, so this is my project. So I need to find, it's like Robert Demo Data or something like that. PQR Robert Demo Data, okay. I'll open that up. RAS static file, static rover files. I'm gonna open that up. Okay, so I've got two T02s in there. One of them was when I was playing with it while ago, setting everything up. And then I've got the one I just downloaded at 1241. So you're gonna copy that static file over and send that off to Opus, right? So remember, if you're sending it off to Opus static, it takes two hours. If you're sending it off to Opus rapid static, you really need, it, need probably about three hours, three hours, 30 minutes. You really need three hours on Opus static. You get away with two. You need 15 minutes on Opus rapid static. You really need at least 30. So anyways, uh, and I don't think Opus likes one second data. So if you try to do it on one second data like you're doing a drone flight, you need to have some software to post-process that static file yourself would be my suggestion. Um, I have had people tell me that they can't get Opus to process a one second data. And that may be the logging intervals for the data from the core station that they're trying to download from. I'm not exactly sure. So anyways, guys. Oh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, it's hot, humid, muggy in North Florida today. But um, guys, take care. God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see if I can get some more videos out for you here pretty soon. Whew. Okay.